In this video, I'm going to show you how you can burn an ISO file to a DVD in Windows 10. Now, before I actually start to burn uh, the ISO file to a DVD, let me show you a little scenario on where I would get uh, my, my ISO file. But before I do, uh, Windows 10 has a feature that allows you to burn an ISO file to a DVD, but the steps for Windows 10 is slightly different than the older version of Windows, like Windows 7. So if you were to download ImageBurn 2.5.8.0, it's free of charge. You can install it on the older version of Windows up to Windows 10, and it works the same because you're working, uh, you're actually using the software. And this is what I will be using to demonstrate. Now here is the ISO file that I will be using. It's Ubuntu Mate 18.04.1 and I didn't download it by torrent. I actually downloaded it from the website but it's a very large file. It's 1.9 gigabytes large so for the sake of the video I have already downloaded it and placed it into this folder. Now I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to double click the icon and I've went ahead and pre-installed ImageBurn. I'm assuming that if you've used Windows before you know how to go to the link and download click the download button and it'll take a moment and hit download now and it will go into the process of downloading this particular file to your downloads folder and you can execute it and install it now once you install it double click your icon you don't have to choose an icon on your desktop you have that option during the install now there's multiple choices in this image burn software you can write an image file to disk and that's exactly what we want to do we want to take our Ubuntu Mate 18.04.1 image ISO file and we want to burn it to a disk to make it bootable so that we can put it in our DVD ROM and turn on our system and have it set in our CMOS to boot from the DVD drive so that we can load our Ubuntu Mate disk now you have other options you can verify the disk you can create an image from a disk uh, you can create an image from a file or you can create write files or folders to a disk almost like uh, dragging files from your system to a flash drive but here we want to write an image file to a disk we select that now it says please select a file you click on the little folder where it says browse for a file and I've already had it set to this particular folder. I have it in my Linux distros folder. And here's my Ubuntu Mate 18.04. I'm going to hit the open button. And now it's ready. It's loaded up. It's labeled at Ubuntu Mate 18.0. And it and it's, leaves off the 4, but that's fine. Now, if you're burning something important, and burning an operating system to a DVD is very important, I recommend you to verify that your files were all copied to the disk correctly so that way you won't be in the middle of an installation and come to a corrupt file and it messes up your installation And before you verify you can go in test mode and then when you hit the burn button it won't actually put it to a DVD, a DVD. it'll go as a simulator to let you know if everything's going to work out fine and for the first time you might want to try that but if you got a lot of disk laying around if you burn and make a coaster out of one, it probably won't affect you that much. I do have a blank DVD in my DVD ROM drive, and now I just simply click the icon to write from the ISO to the DVD. And when I do that, the dialog box changes its appearance. It starts to give me more data. It shows me uh, how many sectors. It shows me my label. It does show me that I've chose to verify uh, once the process is completed and you can close the little window below this is a log that's being created while you're doing the whole process I recommend while it's burning do not press the stop button or you could make a coaster out of your DVD that you placed in your DVD ROM and it will take some time so I will probably speed up the part where it's burning uh, but I will start it back the video back uh, before it finishes to let you hear the noise that it makes. Okay, the process is almost complete. and When it does, you will hear a little noise to indicate that it's completed. It's about... And there's... 
All right, it says operation successfully completed. I can click OK and it is completely finished. Now when you're finished, you have a little log at the bottom. If you had any problems, you'll see a red X. Now, I let it go completely through the burn process and completely through the verify process and I sped up that process because it's very boring watching it burn and watching it confirm. Now there's a little yellow exclamation point and I didn't want to go through it very quickly and think that there was a problem. This was the end of the burning process and it took a few moments and it says waiting for the device to become ready and what happens during that time is once the burn process is, process is completed your DVD drive will open up and it will shut and while it's opening and shutting it's ver waiting for it to become ready and it will spin up and then once it spins up it will determine that your device is now ready and it will go through the same process like it's burning but instead of burning it it's verifying the files that was in the ISO file that's on your hard drive is the same files that it actually put on the DVD-ROM. Now you're ready to eject uh, your actual DVD and once we start to burn and I notice it's no longer active because this disk now has content on it when I had a little dialog box up earlier if you wanted it to eject you could check eject and there were several other options I didn't I didn't want it to pop open because I do have a cord in front of my DVD drive that I didn't want it to pop open and get hooked into but if you'd like to select that option you can and that is how to burn an ISO file to a DVD in Windows 10 or any of the other versions, earlier versions of Windows. Hopefully this has helped you and have a great day.